to Quick Wins with Com. It's Richard Tuturnji, and today we're talking about a bit of a traditional topic. It's called traditional media. So it's talking about billboards, radio, flyers, everything, I guess, non online or offline marketing or offline advertising. We want to focus on how do we get the stats for offline advertising? How do we find the numbers? How do we get the analytics for our offline advertising? How do we know if it's effective? We have a few clients that come to us and they're spending a lot on other forms of marketing and what's happening is, how's it going? Yet we're getting a big spike in traffic and then it sort of goes down. We can't really actually track, did they make a sale from it? What happened from it? All the traffic sort of just interlinked a lot. So this is how we can do it. This is how we can really do it to make sure that we get really good numbers and it's working most importantly. What I'd like to do is that, if you're advertising in a car, a billboard, a radio, a TV commercial, anything like that, you've got to think about what's the client doing at the time. So for example, if we're going to advertise on our car, for example, we recently got our car app to com, we want to make sure that there's a clear message. Now, where's the car going to be placed? A car is going to be placed on the road. What are people going to be doing? They're going to be sitting behind the car in traffic. You're going to have passengers in the car that have got things like mobile phones. They're bored. Everybody's on these phones. So we're going to make sure we utilize this. So a good idea to understand how we're going to do that first is we're going to make sure that there's no disconnect of marketing. So what they see on the car, they also see on the website when they go there. Because remember, generally what's going to happen is people are going to see a branding or see a flyer. They're going to go to the website and make a call. So we understand why we want to be effective with our marketing. Now we want to make sure that how we're going to do it. So what we like to do here at Com is we really want to focus on creating a landing page. Now, if you don't know what a landing page is, it's a single page where you can't get distracted. You can't go to different pages on the website. So it's one page that can be created really fast. There's heaps of platforms out there that can do it. You can do it yourself. And it has the clear offer. If you're trying to target people to look on their phone straight away, make sure obviously the landing page is responsive. Make sure it's fast and efficient. Um, you don't want to drag it on too long. You want to capture their details. You want to either get them to make a phone call or you want to get their email address so you can start marketing to them um, in, a, in more of an automation way. Once we do that, we can actually see how many people from the, came from the traditional advertising to the direct landing page. How do you do that, you ask? Well, it's very simple. We give them a direct URL or we give them a forward slash and we put, a, um, we put the words there which the page to go to. So in this situation, if it's not going to the home page, as I said, it's going to that landing page, the most important part in analytics, we can track it. So we can tell you exactly how many people saw that car and they went to that exact page you told them. Now, if that works, why don't we get another car? Get a third car. But if it doesn't work, maybe the money is spent on flyer advertising. Now, if you're running a flyer campaign and you're running a car campaign, You've got to have two different URLs or forward slash two different things. You've got to have yourbusinessname.com.au forward slash car special. Yourbusiness.com.au forward slash flyer special. Do you, know, do you understand the point? So it's really making sure it's specific to what they want. Now, if you can do that, I mean, all, your, all, all, all the question marks about is it working or not, you know it's going to be working. Now, of course, advertising is branding. But if we're looking at really tightening our marketing budget and getting the best out of our dollars, I mean, sure, the big guys can just go throw the money out there. But as a small business, medium business, you've got to make sure if it's working, use it, double it, duplicate it, because you know it's converting. But if it's not, get rid of it and move somewhere else. So again, just to wrap it up, make sure that you've got a really specific URL, specific landing page if you're doing any offline marketing and then we can really track, measure, and get real results and spend the money where it's actually working. I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, comments, share, put below, and we'll get that around to the next episode. Thanks so much. Thank you for listening in. Remember to keep your eye out and subscribe, share, and like. Check out our other videos below.